good, good from far kingdom. I remember about 20 years ago, I was studying college. Was it 20? Yeah, about 20 years ago. No, less, 15, I'm not that old. <laughs> anyway, 15 years ago, I was in college in the US. And funny thing about me, now my name is Kim Fo, right? KF. And my favorite food is KFC, right? Because it's Kim Fo chicken. <laughs> so I went to the US to study, but near my school, there was this KFC. And every day, walking from my dorm to the class, I would pass by. And in the morning, I walk, I'll smell, wow, oh, good, huh? Coming back from school, wow, oh, good, huh? But I never went into that KFC. You know why? Student, no money. Exactly. <laughs> I had to eat the happy dog food. So one day I decided, you know what? I have to try it. I mean, the US is the birthplace of KFC, right? I have to try it. Okay, vegetarians, you might not understand. But when I walk past KFC, <laughs> Sometimes it's like, you know, you watch those cartoons, the chicken and there's the, the white color smell, and it goes to my nose and it pulls me, King, eat, eat. And so one day I finally mustered up the money, the courage, I went to the KFC. I opened the door. Looks just like Singapore. Saw the sign, two-piece meal, just like Singapore. And I ordered a two-piece meal. And you know what? It was the worst KFC I've ever eaten in my entire life. No joke, and now you're laugh. If you go US, you try, you know what I mean. Don't say I didn't want you. The chicken, the color of it, it looks like mud. Okay, it's muddy colored. It's supposed to be crispy? No, it's wet mud. It's like you take bread, you dip into Milo, pull up that kind of texture. You put it in your mouth, cold. You bite, it tastes like petroleum mixed with varnish. Terrible. I thought, never again. This KFC smells so good from far. Actually, far from good. And every time after that, never mind. I still go to school, right? So I go, oh, KFC. Oh, and maybe, one month later, maybe they changed. So I go back to the KFC. Looks the same. Bought the KFC. Tastes the same. <laughs> still far from good. I'm thinking, ah, why is it like that? Contest chair, friends, and anyone who's ever had bad KFC. Have you found that sometimes things look really, really good, especially from far, but when you go closer, you jump into it, you deal with it, you realize it's actually far from good? All the time, right? Take my ex-girlfriend, for example. <laughs> this is a safe topic, she's not here. I don't think she'll see the video. So, I met her in the US, right, after one sad day of KFC, through some mutual friends we met. I thought, hey, this girl, she's quite cute. Huh? And we started talking, hey, can connect. And then one night we decided, hey, let's go on a date. And after the date, she came back to my place. We had some drinks, we watched the show. And then she said, oh, it's time to go back. I said, this is New York, it's kind of dangerous. Let me send you back. That's what a gentleman would do. And so I sent her back to her place. And then, nothing happened. I sent her back. Why are you making a joke? Gentlemen! Good from far at least. Huh? But as is, as the relationship went on, I found out she had depression. I found out she was demanding. I found out that I no longer had my own time. Anytime she calls me, she says, come here now or I'll kill myself. <sighs> Difficult. That's why now I can tahan anybody. Because once you live through that, <laughs> now all of you laughing, you know what I'm talking about. So, there's so many things in life, right, that seem good from far, but far from good. <sighs> so I start thinking, why is it always like that? But if things are good from far, but actually far from good, what if we reverse it? What about the things that seem far from good? Will they become good in the future? So I, I thought about this and I thought, no la, can't be, right? I mean, everything in life is about advertising good from far. Look at potato chips. 20% more, you open is 20% more air. <laughs> <laughs> right? They say chips new are quite new and improved for her. Less sugar. If I wanted to be healthy, I would have to be coke, right? How is it better? It's all 
good from, well, it's all good from far, but far from good. And I thought, you know what, maybe, maybe I just need to explore. Maybe I just need to spend more time looking at things that seem far from good. And so I joined Toastmasters. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Toastmasters is a great place full of beautiful people. I see you from far, right? <laughs> no, but the funny thing is, when you first meet people, sometimes you don't like them. Take Shuchan, for example. <laughs> when I first met her, she was my AD. I was a VPE. Have you submitted this form? How about this meeting? This, this, this. Da, da, da. I thought, a bit far from my idea of good. But the closer I got, the more I knew her, the more I understood her. Those five minute evaluations of hers, for every word that I have in the speech, her long, long <laughs> evaluations eventually helped me. Because now they kill my insomnia. I can sleep anytime she comes. <laughs> such a blessing to be able to sleep when I need it. I'll take Terence, for example. When I first met Terence, he was a what, cocky guy, you know, he just walked in the music. I'm going to win all the speech contests. <laughs> Apparently that year he did that, I thought, ah, this guy, far from good. <laughs> and you know what he says? He looks like an ex-murderer. <laughs> I know you're all thinking it, right? <laughs> but that's the thing, you see, when you actually get to know him, actually he's very soft-hearted. All you need to do is buy him chicken rice, orange juice and coke, and he's yours. <laughs> you know, like him no matter, you know, what you've done before. He doesn't bear grudges. So I have realized also, some things that seem far from good, actually is very good. Maybe one more example, durian, right? You say, ah, oh, but when you eat, ah. Oh. <laughs> so my friends, in this life, because of advertising, fake news, whatever you might call it, so many things seem good from far, actually far from good. Let's take some time not to judge too quickly, including all of you judges here. Huh? Don't judge too quickly. Take some time. Spend time. Get to know each other. Explore. And then maybe, instead of being far from good, the, good, the things that were far from good will actually be just simply good. Back to you. Toastmaster.